Hello, my name is Shamala. I'm a physiotherapist who works with people with Parkinson. Growing older can cause your muscles to become weaker. Additionally, people with Parkinson have been found to be weaker than those of similar age without the condition. If you are living with Parkinson, you need to know that strength training should be a component of your exercise program. Performing strength building exercises three times a week with a rest day in between can help improve your strength and balance. Before we start, let's go through some important points on how to perform these exercises safely. Pick an appropriate time to do the exercises. Be well rested and ensure your symptoms are well controlled by your medication. Do the exercises at your own pace. Always hold on to the side of a stable support, such as a chair or solid table, that does not move. If you experience pain or difficulty with these exercises, stop and consult your physiotherapist or doctor. I will now demonstrate some exercises to build up muscle strength. These exercises can be done in a sitting or standing position. It's important that you exercise in a safe and comfortable position. Let's begin with a sit to stand exercise. You can do this exercise from a chair that you are able to stand up from easily. Do this 10 times. Have a rest and repeat the exercise for another 10 times. As you feel stronger, you can reduce the hand support or stand from a chair with a lower height. The second exercise is heel raises. Stand upright facing a chair or a table. Hold on to it and look straight ahead. Keep your feet shoulder width apart. Come up onto your toes. Lower the heels to the ground. Repeat 10 times. Rest. Repeat 10 times. Third is a lateral step up exercise. Step up onto stairs or steps. Use a wall, railing or sturdy object at the front or the side for balance if needed. Keep your body upright at all times. Repeat 10 times, rest. Repeat another 10 times, repeat on the other leg. The fourth exercise is half squats sliding down a wall. Stand upright with your back against the wall. Place your feet shoulder width apart. Squat down halfway, bending your knees. Hold for 10 counts. Ensure your knees do not go beyond your toes. Then stand up. Repeat 10 times. You can add weights or resistance bands to further build strength as you get comfortable with the program. Perform these exercises slowly through a full range of movement. Do not hold your breath while doing these exercises. Breathe in as you lift your arm or leg and breathe out as you lower your arm or leg. I am now going to show you how to hold the TheraBand. Hold the ends of the TheraBand in your hand. Ensure that it is flat and not twisted. Wrap the TheraBand around the back of your hand. Repeat this movement as many times as necessary until sufficient tension is formed. Grasp your TheraBand firmly. You are now ready to begin your workout. Here are exercises for your upper body. Carry out these exercises while sitting on a sturdy chair placed against the wall. The first is called seated shoulder roll with resistance band. Extend your legs and wrap the middle of the band around your feet. Ensure the band is secure by wrapping the middle around your feet so it will not slip. Grasp both ends of the band with elbows straight. Pull the band upward and back, bending your elbows. At the same time, squeeze your shoulder blades together and open up your chest. Slowly return to starting position. Keep your knees and back straight throughout the exercise. Repeat 10 times. Second is seated shoulder bench press with resistance band. Begin with the band wrapped around your upper back. Grasp both ends of the band with your elbows bent and palms facing inward. 
Push the band forward, extending your elbows to shoulder level. Slowly return to starting position. Repeat 10 times. Rest. Repeat another 10 times. The third exercise is seated shoulder lateral raise with resistance band. Place the center of the TheraBand under both feet and grasp each end with your palms facing forward. Keep your elbows straight and by your side. Pull the band up and to the sides of your body. Slowly return to starting position. Repeat 10 times. Rest. Repeat another 10 times. The fourth exercise is seated elbow curls with resistance band. Place one end of the band securely under your feet and grasp the other end of the band with your palm facing upward. Keep your elbow by your side. Straighten your wrist and bend your elbow, bringing your hand to your shoulder. Slowly return to starting position. Repeat 10 times. Rest. Repeat another 10 times. Now I shall demonstrate strengthening exercises for your lower limbs using a resistance band. First exercise is hip flexion strengthening in sitting with resistance band. Begin by tying one end of the band securely around the top of the knee of your exercising leg. Bring the end of the band under the opposite foot and grasp it by the side of your knee. Slowly lift your hip against the band, pulling upward. Hold and slowly return. Repeat 10 times. Rest. Repeat another 10 times. Repeat on the other leg. The second exercise is hip extension strengthening with resistance band. Securely attach one end of the band to a sturdy object. Then attach the other end of the band above your ankle. Keeping your knee straight, extend your whole leg backwards against the band. Hold and slowly return. Use a sturdy object nearby for balance if needed. Keep your back straight, don't lean over. Repeat 10 times. Rest. Repeat another 10 times. Repeat on the other leg. The third exercise is hip abduction strengthening using resistance band. Using the same setup as your previous exercise, keep your knees straight, then kick your leg outward against the band. Hold and slowly return. Repeat 10 times. Rest. Repeat another 10 times. Here are some basic exercises you can do at home if you're unable to stand. The first exercise is hip extensor strengthening exercise in lying. To strengthen hip extensors, muscles at the back of your hip, lie on your back with your knees bent. Lift your bottom off the mat. Tense your bottom muscles as you lift and do not overarch your back. The next exercise is hip abduction in sitting. Tie the band around your thighs. Open your legs to stretch the band while keeping your feet still. Hold and slowly return back to starting position. Repeat 10 times. Rest. Repeat another 10 times. The fourth exercise is seated leg press using resistance band. This strengthens your entire leg. Begin by wrapping the middle of the band around your foot. Grasp the ends of the band at your chest level, taking up the slack while you bend your hip and knee. Press your foot downward into the band, extending your hips and knee. Keep your back straight. Don't lean over. Hold and slowly return. Repeat 10 times. Rest. Repeat another 10 times. Repeat on the other leg. The fifth exercise is seated foot raises using resistance band. Begin by tying the middle of the band around one foot that you're exercising. Place the end of the band under the opposite foot to stabilize the band. Grasp the end of the band by the side of your knee. Lift your foot upward against the band. Hold and slowly return. Repeat on the other leg. The next exercise is seated calf muscle strengthening using resistance band. Wrap the middle of the band around your foot. Grasp the end of your band at your waist level, taking up the slack. 
Push your foot down into the band. Hold and slowly return. Repeat 10 times. Rest. Repeat another 10 times. Repeat on the other leg. A note on safety when using a resistance band. Check your band before each use. Replace if you notice any tears. Ensure a firm grip on the band, otherwise it may snap back towards the head. If you have Parkinson and have not been referred to a neurological physiotherapist for rehabilitation, you can do so by asking your neurologist for a referral. You can find neurological physiotherapist in all acute hospitals. It's never too late to start exercising. Begin today and enjoy its benefits. If you have already been exercising, keep up the great work. Thank you for watching. We hope that you have found these exercises useful. Plan your exercise routine such that you are on while doing these exercises for best results. Start with no resistance or light resistance. Ensure that you can do 8 to 10 repetitions of the exercises in good form. If you can perform more than 10 reps easily without any effort, it's time to progress your resistance. You can progress your resistance by shortening the length of your band or changing its colour. Aim to do your strengthening exercises 2 to 3 times a week. You should not be experiencing pain in your joints during these exercises. If you experience dizziness, chest pain or shortness of breath while exercising, stop and consult your doctor. If you are unsure on how to begin a strengthening program, consult a physiotherapist. Check if you are able to perform 8 to 10 good repetitions of the exercise. Do 2 to 3 sets. Check if you are using correct breathing technique. Inhale before a lift and exhale during a lift. Do the exercise slowly with good control. Rest breaks of 1 to 2 minutes in between sets. 